Hey everybody, Eve here. I guess today you could call this blog, vlog, uh, YouTube video, the mean meme video about mean memes, whether it's, well, there's mean memes all over the internet, but the one that's been bothering me the most, and I see it all of the time and have, <clears throat> excuse me, for quite a few, few years is food memes. Um, I don't know if all of you know or not, but I am a vegetarian, have been for eight years, and I'm actually sort of um, more of a raw, I mean, I'm a vegetarian because my husband, I have to prepare some meals that have meat and what have you. I don't eat any meat, but in some cases I do eat um, some um, animal byproducts such as eggs, um, not milk, some cheeses, <clears throat> you know. Most of the time I try to stick completely veg vegetarian and I'm leaning also a little bit more towards vegan and raw foods. But with having said all that, um, I keep seeing a particular meme. I'm going to scroll up here and show it to you. I have a blog and um, on Blogger. And it, this one is the one that really got me. Give me a second to put on my glasses here so I can actually see to read. And uh, let's see this. Finally setting down to my vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, antibiotics-free, raw, non-GMO, organic, fat-free, low-carb meal. And what do we see? We see a plate of ice cubes with a fork and a knife. Yeah. So that's what people think of when they think of healthy, raw, nutritious, whole foods. Foods that are not genetically modified. They're grown organically without pesticides. They actually have real nutrition. They have living enzymes. We have living bodies that require living foods. Okay, there's trillions of these living cells, and they all, each cell requires nutrition, dense nutrition, not empty calories. So the reason why this disturbed me so immensely, oh, so immensely, I'm telling you, I cannot talk today. I, I, blew, I blooper everything. Uh, it's because they're so far from the truth, it's pathetic. And because these kinds of posts are Part of the reason, so many uh, reasons why people can't get well and stay well. Food, people, is life and health um, or death and disease. That's the choice we make every time we lift a fork or spoon. Okay? We eat into life or death with every bite we take. Now, having said that, let me also state for the record that while I'm an avid raw food vegan, Vegetarian, non-GMO, non-white sugar, flour, or anything processed or white, organic or nothing kind of gal. Oops, caught a spelling error there. I don't advocate my lifestyle upon anyone else unless they ask for it. I believe people are entitled to know the truth about what's in the food they're eating. <clears throat> Excuse me. But beyond that, it's a free country and you can eat as you please. In the meantime, I wish people could actually see the magnificent food that I eat every day that I feel blows all of the genetically processed dead food that many of you are eating away. So, in the spirit of truth and giving, I will be sharing some amazing raw, non-processed recipes with you all today. And yeah, these will show you that a plate full of ice cubes doesn't even remotely resemble the culinary delights raw vegans enjoy. And these just barely scratch the surface, by the way, of all of the raw food that's in the raw food world or the vegetarian world for that matter. Just Google raw food recipes or vegetarian recipes. Um, you, you, if you have a printer, um, after a week or so, you could fill your own cookbook. And, and we're talking amazing foods. Usually if the picture appeals, <clears throat> excuse me, the food will appeal. So there you go. There's a, Cheesecake right there, raw burritos, raw carrot cake, pecan cranberry bars, uh, lentil 
burgers, pecan pies, another cheesecake, shamrock cheesecake. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Even <clears throat> as healthy as I try to eat, everyone, everywhere is sick all of the time. So I'm constantly, my body is constantly expelling, fighting, and knocking out the toxins of this crazy environment because I'm surrounded by meat eaters, GMO eaters, everybody's addicted to all of this fast food, processed food, White Castle, it's just, oh my God, it's insane, it's insane. And they're always sick. And here's the deal. <clears throat> Once or twice a year, I get sick too. Here's the difference. I knock it out in three, four days. But here's, here's the deal also. Even though I have a very, 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 very strong immune system, when your immune system is constantly being bombarded by viruses, colds, bacteria, everything and all of this other stuff that's externally going on environmentally, you are going to, you, you fight it, you fight it, and you're going to have the symptoms of that. And with me, it's it's some congestion, a little bit of nose running, uh, nothing major. I mean, thank God, at least I'm fighting it. Everybody else is walking around hacking, dying. Oh, my God, I can't stand it. Um, tabbouleh, um, raw kebab, that's in a Jerusalem artichoke salad. So <clears throat> now, in the spirit of fairness, because I, all I see is the mean food memes having to do with vegans, vegetarians, people that eat only organic, non-GMO, or, you know, not chemically processed foods, what have, highly processed foods and starches and what have you. Uh, low carb, they mention low carb. Uh, I eat all the carbs I want, but they're whole food carbs, not processed breads and, and things like that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you can have carbs. <laughs> it won't make you fat. It just depends on the type of carbs they are. Complex carbs, which is, you know, sweet potatoes and different types of legumes and what have you. Uh, Google that, or I'll do another video, but uh, I can't actually talk longer than 15 minutes on this, so I've got to move it up. So, here is my meanie meme, meanie food meme. And let me see if I can make it bigger. Yeah. What you see when you post what meat you're having for dinner. And I guess that, <clears throat> excuse me again, is a Salisbury steak meal? I don't know. Looks like scabs and vomit gravy to me. But um, what raw foodists and vegans and vegetarians see. So, yeah. That's what we see. So our food may look like a plate full of ice cubes or cardboard or gerbil mix or bird seed or whatever you guys are posting out there. I admit, it's not gross. This is gross. But if you think about it, <laughs> meat from animals, how many dogs, cats, hamsters, pets you've owned? They all have parasites. They all have parasites. Yeah, there's bugs on vegetables. You can wash that off. And believe it or not, a certain amount of insects won't hurt you. They're actually healthier, probably, than meat. <laughs> Although I wouldn't advocate eating those either. Stick to the vegan lifestyle. Vegetarian. Okay, we're not going to we're not going to be perfect no matter what. But God didn't design us originally to live in a fast food place. He put us in a garden, a garden. And if you read the book of Genesis, he'll tell you that eat everything that produces seed after its own kind. Even the animals originally didn't eat meat. That's all happened as a result of sin and the fall of man. And then we started doing crazy stuff ourselves, stuff God doesn't really advocate. But that's what we do, people. So I kind of like my meanie meme, but it's kind of difficult for me to actually post it. I actually did on Twitter, and I did do a response to, to a 
to the post about the plate full of ice cubes making fun of us vegetarians and vegans and raw foodists. So I don't really like being mean, but this is a well-needed meme. We all have something, pardon the pun, to bring to the table. So let's stop making fun of each other's food. I promise. I'm going to inform you. I'm going to share with you if you want to know what I consider to be what research bears out to be the healthiest, most nutritious food to eat for your living bodies, which would be living foods. It doesn't take an Einstein to figure that out. And you can, can and then after having heard my after having heard my side of the story, sharing my insight, my research, my limited expertise, I, I admit, I'm no expert. Uh, even experts don't know everything, okay? Then you can eat whatever you want, and I promise, if you don't make fun of your my food, I won't make fun of yours. So that's it for today. Please like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel. Uh, underneath every video, I'll always put a link to my post. I'm going to put links to my blog on Blogger because I have tons of other things besides mean memes that you can that you can actually look at. I'm also an Avon rep and anybody interested in buying or selling Avon, it's never too late to begin a fantastic life now. Um, click on that, go to my website, sign up. You'll be on my team and I will be making more videos in the future. Um, you know, highlighting tips and techniques and what have you. Hey, it only costs $25 to start your own business with Avon. And all you have to do is share products that you're passionate about. Pfft, how easy is that? I'm excited. I'm doing very well. Um, will you get rich quick or overnight? No. But I promise you, if you join my team and you follow the video instructions and the little tips and what have you, and you call me and you allow me to guide you somewhat. I'm not pushy. Um, I don't sell Avon and pushy, and I don't teach Avon pushy. It's all up to you. All you're doing is sharing. It's not hard to share products you're passionate about and um, lots of tips and tricks. Not get rich and quick overnight, but if you're willing to work it, Hey, in two years, you set realistic goals, I guarantee you, you'll attain them. And then my other videos having to do with the HCG, weight loss. I've got lots of stuff on this blog, and I will be updating it periodically, frequently. I promise. So that's all for today. Thanks a lot. Be happy. Be healthy. God's blessings. And namaste.